Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Kanak Info Systems LLP. And we're back with another video exploring a feature in Yappy Next. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create and manage product bundles in your ERP Next database. Now, product bundles refers to the grouping of multiple products which are sold together as a unit. This feature could be useful for businesses who sell out skincare kits, hair care kits, or handloom products. So, without further ado, let me show you how you can create and manage product bundles. But first, we have some prerequisites, which are items. So first, I'll go to item list. And first, I'll add the items, which are the individual items, which are the part of the entire kit. So I'll give this a code. This would be and I'll make sure that I click on maintain stock because it is a stockable item. It exists in my inventory. I'll create another one. I'll check the maintain stock again. Now I'll add the third one. I'll refresh this page so that you can see it in the list and here are the three products that I've just created now I'll create an item for a product bundle which would be called coffee skincare kit But this would be a virtual product since it does not exist in my inventory. So I'll make sure I'll un uncheck the maintain stock box. And I'll save this. As you can see, I have an unstockable virtual item called coffee skincare kit. Now I'll go to the pro product bundle list. And I'll add a product bundle. I'll select the parent item which is coffee 00 which is the coffee skincare kit now I'll add the items from our products that I've already created which would be the part of this kit so which was of course the face scrub I'll add the quantity how many quantity is it going to be in the product bundle the face wash All three items would be in the quantity of one in one kit and I'll save this so now when I'll process a sales order 
Now we'll create a new sales order for this. I'll select my customer. Give them a delivery date. And here I'll select the item which is the entire kit. Now I'll add the quantity, let's say three. So now you see that we're making a sales order for the kit. However, once I save it, I'll see that in the packing list, there are the individual items and not the kit. The packing items are the child items but we are processing a sales order for the entire kit. Now I'll submit this. Now I'll create a delivery note so that the stock gets transferred. I'll select the warehouse from where the goods have to be picked up. And even here, if we go, we'll see that individual items are being packed because these are the stockable items. The kit is a virtual item, so they cannot be picked up from the inventory. I'll save this. Submit. So now, when I'll go to my stock ledger, I'll see that the individual items have been reduced from my inventory have been picked up from my inventory the virtual item that is the entire kit does not have any entry in the stock ledger because it is a virtual non-stockable item now i'll go back to process my sales invoice normally process it so the sales invoice has been created for the kit but the packing items are the individual items which are the child items and are the part of the kit so this is how you can manage and create product bundles in your ERP next database if you have any questions or queries you can reach out to us we would love to answer you if you are exploring the world of ERP and want to know how ERP Next can fit your business, you can contact us and get a free demo. And we will explain to you how ERP Next can help you reach your business new heights. Till then, keep subscribing to our channel because we keep coming up with many more new videos in which we explore many more functionalities of the ERP Next. Thank you.